weird. Weird. I can't jump either. I can't jump! Eh. I can't jump? What's the point? Wee, I can't jump. And like, I don't want to walk all the way to- I'm gonna be honest, I don't want to walk all the way to right because my walking speed is like so slow right now. But maybe I could check out the town, but like I'm tired and like I'm broken. I don't know what's going on. But I don't want- again, I don't want to go all the way to the right for nothing again because I use, there's usually nothing there. Oh, but face out. Okay, now no, over here. What well, is going on? No idea. Oh my god. B. Oh my god. May? Oh, oh, oh okay, this is the other, the other side. Yeah, when they were playing video games. Holy shit, it's May. It's me. You came back to life. I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but maybe... I don't know. Her mom says it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just, like, ordered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Okay, so that's what happened? It's like... I don't know, maybe they, um, um, I, maybe she's just, like, going in and out of consciousness. Because it, maybe it was real. Uh, where she, like, you know... Walked back to, um, to home... They saw her, you know, and then put her in the hospital and everything, and then it seems she, she got better, so they went home and put her in, in her bed. But then she woke up by herself and then just walked out, I guess. And then came here, somehow. Maybe? Is that what happened? Jeez. Look, she, 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 lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I sure hope she's alright. Mm-hmm. Above you, shh. No, <laughs> what? It's left noisy. I don't know what that means. So, how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now since possibilities closed down. I thought you two was trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. <laughs> okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. I can spawn through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. Okay, we're now we're just paranoid about the, the, the delivery guy. Lou? Look who's awake. It's him, it's the pizza guy. Pizza's here. Pizza time! Yum. Ah yes, pizza. Oh, I'm a little sick. I guess. Ugh. So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt is some guy fishy off the woods. We were like, you were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Eat that. Even though it's like, <laughs> okay, I don't want to eat that, I guess. I had this dream, or like a vision. Uh, or I time traveled. I don't know. I'm like in, in and out of consciousness. Okay, so the whole thing was just like her, like ha being in a coma. I assume. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can, especially not pizza. You probably shouldn't eat pizza when you're like trying to recover. It's probably not very good for you. Just eat pizza. Uh, sorry, mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, mom. Well, come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here. B is there. Bee's here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have Bee drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. Do you want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'll puke, but there isn't anything in there. So, I like to puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. You probably need you some water, you know? I'll try some, like, water and something easy to, like, digest. You know, like, I don't know, crackers or something? Probably a better idea than pizza or, like, lasagna or brownies. I don't know, man. 
Dude, wow, weak, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this, I don't know if we're gonna get out, getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. What even was that game? Werewolf, Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I played this at Casey's house like years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Whatever you say, Germ. The guy that we don't really hang out all that much. It's like a new guy. They've got Wi Fi. Nice. It's like we're in the real place. At least within range. I don't have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not dead. Yeah. 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 Gonna wander around a little bit. Don't push yourself. Uh, anything else to do? I don't know. No, I think that's it. I don't know if there's anything else to do. You already talked to... To, uh... We already talked to, um... Angus already, so there's not much to wander around. So I'm probably just gonna, like, hit the sack. I mean, alright, let's just hit the sack. Cool. I'll be right out. Hey kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See y'all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? Not just got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. All right. See ya. Bye, Germ. You're unimportant to the plot. <laughs> Goodbye. Mm, do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Was it okay? It was Andy? I, I thought it was Cole, but then he got mixed up, anyway. No. We weren't talking then, I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... No, well, no, maybe it's a different thing. Anyway. I was playing this video game. You were, like, dating ghosts or something? <laughs> dating ghosts? Is that, like, a real... I don't know, a, a ghost dating sim? Is that... I mean, I'm, I'm not just wondering if that's actually a real thing in real life. Has that ever been a concept in the video game yet? Dating ghosts? Okay. And I was like really into it, play like 24-7, until this one afternoon, and suddenly, like, something broke. Broke. It was just like, pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore, they were just shapes. And their lines were just someone, someone had written. They, and they never existed, and never had feelings, like this video game, for example, and the, and, the, and the words in this dialogue box, oh no, they're not real, ah! They would never exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And like that realization, like, dumped out of the screen into real life. Went outside in the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating, just, just being there. And like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by and he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It's like all just stuff, stuff in the universe, just dead. Wow, that's... Huh. And the next day, it was that softball game, and Andy was the pitcher when I was up. He was just shapes, too. It's like lines someone wrote. It was all, it was all fake. Yeah, you ever heard about the uh, simulation theory, where everything is just fake, or not real? We're all just ones and zeros, and this is all just like a video game for someone else? For some higher being, like an alien or something? We're just all NPCs? Anyway... Just lines someone wrote. Like, nothing in there. I was so scared and angry and I just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in the back. <laughs> okay. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Just ones and zeros. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy. With Dr. Hank. Oh god, he's the worst. He made me start a journal. A journal. Yeah, he kind of just said he would help me, uh, help to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda, sorta. But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes like back of the softball game. I was doing fine college for a while, 
I couldn't make friends. I was just free, afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was a statue of like the founder or something. A really shitty statue, like all rusty metal. It was all these shapes. He was pointing down at me. I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or ate entire pizzas at once. <laughs> I downed coffee just to just asleep all the time. Finally, I got the courage to leave. I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everybody. It wasn't just dead shapes. Watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head. In my life. I don't mean to be like, whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from serious stuff. And like I can help you find some help for it? Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentist dentistry. And the half dozen other things he does. And maybe leave the mental health services of someone else. Like there are such things as depressions and anxiety and like, I don't know, what you're going through, it exists. I thought when I came home, I just felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this and... And... Shh. It's gonna be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know, we're all scared. But we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. I... She's <laughs> just snoring. With her, like, fake cigarette in her mouth. How do you do that? Doesn't it fall off? Bye, guys. Love you. Nope. Okay, we're just leaving. And the whole of the center of everything. This is so confusing. It's a little confusing what's going on exactly. There's too many things going on at once. I feel like. No, go home. No. We're just gonna walk out. This doesn't seem very rational. Okay, do it anyway. Should like be resting? We're like feeling horrible and like tired, but no, we're just gonna go all the way out here. Meet up with this thing, person. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine, let's do this. Hiya! Start battle! Ah, whoa! What the heck? There was a crossbow? Boom! Headshot! Well, not really headshot, actually. Kinda like a heart shot. Get away from me, piece of shit. You're all numbered, asshole. Uh, you shot me! We can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Oh, jeez, B. Ugh. You okay? Where? Who I did? You're such an idiot. What were you thinking coming out here alone? And, uh, it's all because of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the one putting on a dumb costume and following me around? And kidnapping people, maybe? Is that your fault now? He, it, it's in my dreams. <laughs> I feel like May is just losing it. Hey, kiddo. We're all, uh, we're out here, outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not gonna let you wander off into the woods. To die. No, but... Oh, shut up. Would you let me do this? Oh, that's cheating, putting it that way. We're all in this now. Even if we weren't. I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly, clearly we all would be. Listen, I'm all the family my dad has left. I for damn sure I'm not dying out here, and you're... God, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. So, you're not dying either. <clears throat> I'm gonna die from this cough. That sounds okay. By me. Well, he he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. Mm, you all wait here. I'll go. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up there in the mine, we might be to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something. Can you walk, May? I, I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go do something really stupid. <laughs> let's go really- yeah, let's go do something really stupid. We're just like, trying to like, capture this one guy. Gates open. Oh jeez. What? We could like, block it or shut it or something. Oh dang. You're right. 
No. I have to go down there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang bang. We're just gonna hunt him down. Are we the bad guys now, I feel like? I don't know. What's going on? I don't even know. Like, what happened? Like, the, there was like a severed arm. There was a, someone got kidnapped, and I guess May saw it, and like, he got in trouble because of that because they saw it, or I don't know. Anyway, well, this isn't dangerous or anything. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down here. Just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. <laughs> A full party is here. It's like an RPG, you know. It's like Earthbound, you know. It's the the whole the whole like team is here. I'm gonna beat up this one guy, I guess. Hmm. Sounds like someone's crying, by the way. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. We sure we want to do this. Hey, yeah, May, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <sighs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I don't know what's going to happen down there. Okay, then. We'll come out of this together. <sighs> that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine like, a lot of years. Generations, even. Are you our tour guide now? Just have like just a lot of casual conversation while we do this. We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop, and I get bored. This is in the brochure. Well, here we are. <laughs> so coffee. Uh, May, you okay? You, I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like... It's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something. Down there. You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah, I gotta save it for the screaming later. <laughs> she really should have rested up before this, you know? At least eat some crackers <laughs> before we, we do this. Oh well. Gonna walk through this tunnel. And, you know, inexplicitly we see a bit of like stars in this in the darkness. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. The big revelation, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Hello? I see a few benches. Some scaffolding, is it? Or I'm not sure what it's called. I guess like ruined planks or... I don't know what you call it, but anyway. Oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like, junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. Oh, what is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. You're talking like a crazy person, May. <laughs> stop, stop being crazy. Just let relax. Chill out. Come on. No? I guess not. Let's go inside here. It's very dark though. You have a flashlight? Should have brought a flashlight. I know you're in here. <laughs> you see bees like a uh, cigarette, by the way. It's glowing. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole. We're like five times scarier than you. Never mind, there's a lot of them. Oops. There they are, they're right there. I'm gonna kill them. Ed, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He, he shot me. 
then I say we're even. Little girl got shot the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call, I'm sorry. It's okay? It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the, who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnness to protect their own and their neighbors. Th then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. My family relation is just being hard workers. Contributors. I'm okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. He's not gonna let you leave until he has his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through his shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much saying whatever. Wait, so you think that I'd... Or E'd or I'd? He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've... I felt it. Was Ed Scudder and Jim Doherty who found it? 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past middle. Va Ves sh uh, I can't say it. Smooshner, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance. Carved initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole, copper, abandoned. Shoot, before long before any of us were born. Too close to water, and that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine come back here, try to bootlegging, practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. So Ed busts through that wall and finds his place, and Jim walks right into that hole and never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer, but someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and waking times. So it brought you down here. Oh, what does that have to do with you or me or anyone? You got to understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Government don't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations and sending our jobs overseas. Spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. <laughs> okay. While we worked ourselves to death. Ah, uh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed in the church, but when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Uh, answers? Ed explained it to a few folks and I didn't believe it, but he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Ones that he takes a shine into, it rubs off on you. You can do things. I'd never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, out of that first time after we picked one out, well, not only was the town hole unstable, it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Hicked? First one was Tom Turner, who believed you me was a bastard, just pure trash. You got him down here and in the hole he went. The next week flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them down in the hole. They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing, and it's someone's turn to find someone. Dot, dot, dot. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm going to be sick. We never pick no one who's going to be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh, God, oh, no. Casey? The Hartley kid. All he was going to contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad. It was a rap sheet a mile long. Okay, so I'm thinking, okay, it's still really, really weird, but uh, kind of like a mood whiplash, sort of. But like, uh, they've been sacrificing people in this like hole this entire time, and they're saying like when they do that, good things happen to the town, I guess. And they also apparently sacrificed Casey, that's why he was missing for whatever s sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You, you killed Casey? Oh my God. We don't use that word. 
You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey? And you want to act like we didn't do him in this whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. Who's my friend? All right now. Throw it down right now or I'll shoot. Heh. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking around on your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought, you brought guns down here. Dangerous is far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. Yeah, woods at night. Uh, it's in the, or night in the woods. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, I was going to say another reference to the game title. I... I... Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this... None of this is happening. We're not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old Mills puff and smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, brought a house, now you're stocking shelves at a grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people die and houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster? A job become a burnt up brick box or hole in the ground? We can change that. We can put this place back together. But it won't be just... Shapes. We we're spinning. I don't know what we're doing. We're flying around. I'm gonna die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit to good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really, you're like pitching us on this. Were any of you even Myers back in the day? Any of you hurting now financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? For someone shitty's boss who's afraid of dying. That don't matter. It, it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we just call the cops? And say what? You saw some men you can't identify? In an abandoned mine behind a locked gate and an elevator that won't run? Now you saw a hole. Okay, fine. Why should we help you? Because if no one here is... Because if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. This is, this is weird. I don't understand if you need some time to think it over. So can we leave? No one's going to stop you, but understand that you don't know who we are out there, but we know who you all are. Ain't fair that they get lead and probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Ide. Or Ed. I don't know how you say that name. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Ed, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you, but the truth is it's just I don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. What a weird confrontation. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just horror? That's not a word you get used to often. That's all I got left. Like everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Weird. That's just weird. Oh, don't stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I... Yeah. For what? I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right now, but... Like, 
they lost what they thought was going to happen, which is what happened like a long time ago, or how they remember or like picture it, and things it gave them. So Casey and that kid, Harfus, and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... Press the X button. Oh. Hey, remember when they said something on the elevator chopping someone's head off? Ah, oh, well. Not a head, just a arm. Ugh. Anyway. Holy shit! Is everyone okay? May, May, are you okay? May you say something? Heh. <laughs> just Michael laughter. May. Ha 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 ha. Ha. Sob. Crying. Shh, it's okay. It's okay, I've got you. He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. I feel air coming here in, in from somewhere. So we're not going to suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. <laughs> Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I got, almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. <laughs> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's a charm. Guys, the air is coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Well, let's find out. Let's get out of here. That's <laughs> weird. I don't know, they have the weird... I, I, I guess it's like a weird murder cult. But, I don't know, we're just gonna ignore that. The whole thing collapsed, I guess. Are they stuck in there? I don't know. Eh. Eh, I guess the power of friendship. Hold the board together. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. Walk, walk, walk. We're going down, though. Is that, is that, I, don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's a good thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're going to die in the one foot of water. Right. Let's go anyway. Let's walk in the water. Walk in the water. It really is kind of weird though, at the very end, you know, in the, of this game. Like, we're just having a good... Oh, I'm dead. Anyway. We're just having a good time, you know, talk to our friends, you know, hang out. Having a little funny little ghost story. But now it's just suddenly murder cult, you know? I mean, it's been happening... Uh, here and there, but only small hints, you know, like a severed arm and all that, and the kid getting kidnapped. But otherwise, mostly just hang out, you know, having like uh, a good time. But now, suddenly, murder, killing, death. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry. Got me all defenseless. I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, on the bus I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long hiding. Or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. Until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. You know what? Until that happens, 
I want to hope again. I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. Okay. I assume Cthulhu is talking to us. You know I can't understand you, right? <laughs> oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need to save me now. So if you're going to kill me right here, then do it. If not... May. Dude, you okay? Oh. You got a sleepy walkie there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just... Very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need us to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Okay, we just walk through the water. Hey, there's light over there. Did you smell that? I bet he did. We, we just walk over this water and had a weird daydream, I guess. It, it was just this, you know? It was, it was just over here, see? That's it, it was just water. We didn't fall down or anything. Anyway. At least we're not, like, walking uh, like an injured person anymore. Walking a little bit faster. Good. Da -de -da -de -da. Still can't jump, though. No jumping allowed. What's this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the Mayas from suffocating right back when. Looks old enough, at least. Brochure. Hello! We're down here. Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky if someone's out there in the woods at night. I can try to make it out. No, I can, like... Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Sure, yeah. I don't know. I'm, like, all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body's like, oh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Oh. Endorphins, rather. <laughs> okay, so I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, okay. There, thank you, those. It's the adrenaline? <sighs> okay, well. Ride those dolphins up out of here. Yeah, that's assuming I can even do this. Go watch. Okay. I can jump. I can fly. I can fight. No, um. Okay, let's just jump. We're platforming. The power of platforming. Wee. Hiya. Nope. Missed that. Try again. Yeah. Nope. I keep missing it. Come on. Alright. Hey. Nope. Ah. Hey. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hi. Try again. And, oh, it's a well. Good. Hmm. This place. Huh. Hey, May. Germ. Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We're all stuck down there. You were the bottom of the old well in my backyard. It's been a really bad night. <laughs> it's hard to explain. It's a long story. It sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Well. Can you go get it? <laughs> oh. Okay. Hey, May. Yeah? What's that? Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? Well, he lives there. In the woods? Well, he, he does. Quite a coincidence, as it turns out. <sighs> Ugh. My entire body hurts. Well, that was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and the caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small? Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Okay, yeah, thanks, buddy. I'm okay. Bye, guys. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. Well, I guess we're going home. <laughs> 
It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. Yeah, I was, I was thinking, like, what happened to them? They just, like, I, I, we sealed the mine. Some of them might have died. Some of them get stuck there. You're gonna starve to death, you know? Well, how do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. Yeah, don't worry about it. You know, that's how, that's how, <laughs> that's how it works in every story, you know? When the bad guys, you know, attack you, just like, don't worry about it. They died, but, like, they're the bad guys. They were self-defense. I guess, but we did kind of cause the deaths with like a thousand guys. You know, that's, that's, that's quite the uh, quite quite the thing to happen. No, 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 they're all still alive down there. Oh God, yeah. Oh jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about like it's it's morally gray. Okay, <laughs> it's morally gray. Yes. We're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would've. <laughs> okay. Okay, Angus. Uh. What? They all- They, like, kill people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't believe in hell. I hope they go- Go, go straight there. Jeez, Angus. <laughs> well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm. It's like that trolley thing. Yeah, yeah, you know that trolley thing? You know, you drive over, like, one person or... Three people, whatever. Hey, what trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Do we need do we need explanation? <laughs> anyway. Such a I don't know, it's it's such a weird thing to just like happen. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Anyway. Hey guys. Uh are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. I never asked for this. And it didn't happen to us because we're like special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is gonna keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserve all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me? Well, don't think I didn't appreciate that. Lol. <laughs> well, lol. Lol, we killed the guy, huh? Lol. I don't know. <laughs> kind of weird. Like, we need some... <laughs> I feel like we need to go through some counseling. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all we want to do, or all I want to do, is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. <laughs> this is a, even though you're not, not listening to this. B, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all your problems. But if I could, I'd fix them. i fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or like, borrow them at least. I bet a friend would buy, but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now nah, I'm just gonna erase all that. <laughs> just erase all of that. No, no, that was real. Oh shit. Ah, guys, I was just kidding about all that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. We're not gonna talk about that weird text message she gave everyone in the middle of the night. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't know, like... The, the, the thing is, the char the whole story in general was kind of strong, actually, you know? Of, like, a sense of, like, these characters and everything. They felt real. You know? And then suddenly, they killed some people. And then, don't worry about it, you know? And then we're gonna, like, gloss over that, I guess. I don't know. It, because it's... In any other video game, if you just kill some bad guys, it's like, yeah, whatever, you know? But, like, in this game, where it, it feels like a... Because the characters are written so strongly. I don't know, anyway. It like feels real. And it's like, it doesn't feel like it should be a story about people getting murdered. But it is, I guess? I don't know. Weird. Darkness. Also shapes. Hmm. Any messages? <laughs> any, rep any replies? It's just another day, by the way. Don't worry about it, but those weird people that kill- That sac like, sacrifice people by like, dropping them down a hole. All those crazy people that think that helps, I guess. Uh, snow in the forecast. Are you ready what's coming your way? 
It's, it's snow time. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork, lol. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Oh, a message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. <laughs> so weird. I don't know. It, it was just... It, this felt all oh, just kind of weird. This whole thing, you know, at the very end. Um... And now we're just going to band practice. I really need some res like some resolution here, or or what's the word? I'm not sure what it is, but like, like some like, I guess we're not calling the cops, but like, uh, you know, as what they said, right? It was like there's no point calling the cops because they won't believe you. But I don't know, man. You should at least tell them about the dead corpses at, in the mines, you know? Maybe maybe dig them up, and like find out what happened. I don't know, man. But uh, I guess we're just gonna have a normal day. That's all we're gonna do. Um, let's do that, I guess. Epilogue. Stars. Wow. Well.